Hi, I'm Joseph Nguyen, a seminarian of the Diocese of San Jose, and I would like to share with you a short reflection about my life as a seminarian and how it has been affected by the pandemic. So, uh, I'm on internship right now here at St. Mary of the Immaculate Conception Parish in Los Gatos. And one of the things that is central to my life is being at the church, being at the house of God, and learning how it, you maintain the parish community and how you care for the physical church and, and how to maintain the, uh, the physical building itself as well. And one of the, for us Catholics, one of the things that's central to our life is the physical building of the church. Not only does it carry a lot of memories for us, but it also is the place where we go to encounter God, where we go to get in touch with Him. And so for us as Catholics, it's, it's a very central place, part of our, our, it's the place where we worship, and where we meet God in the tabernacle. In the scriptures as well, it's, it's important. As uh, Psalm 122 says, I rejoiced when they said to me, let's go to God's house. And so it was with great sadness when this all started that I noticed the, uh, immediately the empty pews and the fact that people could not come to the church to be able to encounter God. And so it, it became more important to, for me to, uh, to grow as I, as I realized of being able to carry people's intentions to the church, to be able to be there at Mass on their behalf when they could not come to Mass themselves. And so it was, it was also here that I was reminded of times when I could not go to the church and had to touch with God inside my heart. And one of the ways that I found helpful for myself to do that, to be able to get in touch with God in my heart, is through the practice of the present moment by Brother Lawrence of the Resurrection. So Brother Lawrence was a Carmelite brother, and he was a cook in the community. And the way he would get in touch with God was to take a short moment between his work to be able to get in touch with God and to be able to talk to Him in the heart. And he would do this throughout the day. And in this way, he was holding God in his heart as his own uh, little house for the Lord. And this uh, in invitation of his uh, uh, reminds me as well to be also become a house of God in my own heart, to be able to hold him in my own heart. And so I invite you, too, to become a house of God in your own heart. Thank you for joining us for the Seminarian Reflection. We are happy that you're able to join us. And also thank you to those who contribute uh, both the, through prayers and through financial support. We are very grateful and we, uh, Seminarians of the Diocese are keeping you in our prayers. And also, uh, if you have prayer intentions that you want us to pray for, click on the link below and we will pray for your intentions at Mass. And also to let you know, on Saturday, May 2nd, is the World Day of Prayer for Vocations, and we will be live streaming Adoration at 3 o'clock and Mass at 4 o'clock. So please come and join us as well, as and come virtually to the house of the Lord. Thank you for joining us. May God bless you and stay safe. Goodbye.